Hello financial investors and welcome to the channel. My name is Brent and today we are going to be doing a follow-up video on last week's question of how to sell an individual stock within a pie or portfolio and transfer that stock or equity into another pie or portfolio within your account. So we're going to be doing a follow-up response to that as the trade has completed here on the M1 Finance platform. We're also going to be answering another subscriber question that was asked just today. And this individual no longer wants to be invested in a specific stock, so they chose to remove it. But what happens on the M1 Finance platform is that those funds, if you watch the initial sell it says or when you remove that stock from your portfolio or pie that those funds will be automatically reinvested so how do you get past this in order to not have those funds be reinvested back into the same stock you are trying to get out of that is what we're going to be covering here in today's video so if you are brand new to my channel have not yet subscribed go down below hit the subscribe button below 75 percent of you are not subscribed i would really appreciate it if there is something i can make in the future to get you to subscribe definitely let me know in the comment section below also if you do enjoy this video find it helpful entertaining give this video a thumbs up and if you have any comments going over the stock market dividends m1 finance robin hood weevil let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions on any of these platforms i do have all of these and of course if you are interested in checking out m1 finance robin hood weevil there are links down in the description you can sign up for weevil get two free stocks sign up for robin hood get one free stock that's three free stocks right there we could you can either keep or sell out of and just make some quick cash to get you started in your investing journey okay so let's go ahead and get into this video the very first thing we want to cover is last week's question what happened with the equity that was sold out so last week's question was they want to basically transfer from portfolio a into portfolio b you know a lot of investors maybe want to move capital or they're trying to change up their pies to be more industrial let's go ahead and pause that for just a second so what we did last week is that we created a pie with that was for REITs that's the REIT sector and what we already had was realty income as an individual stock within our portfolio so what we did is we went into the individual holding we hit sell we put $25 and we hit confirm for the sell once we sold out of the individual holding we went back into our portfolio went down into our newly crafted pie which was just the REITs and inside of this pie that is specifically targeted for you know moving all your REITs into we chose to buy the individual holding within this pie so that is what is going on right now we sold out of $25 of the individual company then we went into the new REIT pie targeted the individual holding and then bought $25 worth of that one so that was the process that we completed last week now jumping into the activity tab to kind of showcase so here we have one buy and we have four buys this past week but what you can notice here is that this video I posted back on April 22nd that is when I performed this so if you look here April 22nd and beyond there's absolutely no cells that are shown here there's one buy and if you tuned in on Monday I went into purchasing eat in advance it is going ex dividend here on Wednesday as you were watching this video it has already gone ex dividend but you can see here that there is no selling process shown underneath the activity now if I go into the portfolio and sort these by value you'll see that there's REITs right here with $26.28 and we can see that this has increased by $1.28 or roughly 5.12% and if we subtract $1.28 from $26.28 we get exactly $25 and that is how much realty income had initially been invested and here we can see that our net deposit towards this one it was $25 so the whole process doesn't show up in the activity there was no selling process all that happened was that we moved equity from the individual holding which is located right here and we moved the equity into the other pie 
So that was the whole process. It did complete. I did actually have to wait until Monday to move cash around for it to kind of take place. But there it took place and it happened. And we can see Realty Income is a newly added position in the portfolio. I just had the opportunity to buy this one not too long ago. Great real estate investment trust. Can't wait to kind of continue to buy and hold that one for the long term. I'd really like to see a lot of these positions fall a bit further. But we can see, though, that overall our portfolio is moving back into the green. You know, it's more green versus red. And we can see that right up at the top. So anyways, moving on to now our second question. If we no longer want to be invested in a specific stock and we want to remove it from our pie or portfolio without having the funds reinvested, what can we do to make that process happen? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the holdings that, for example, I would not want to hold any longer. So maybe something with low equity, such as Clorox, with a nice game. So for example, I don't want to be invested in Clorox in the future, not for some time, as it, it's put on roughly 30% since I initially chose to invest in this specific company. Now, what a lot of investors may do within the M1 Finance platform is, hey, I want to take profits. I don't want to invest in this company any longer. They will move over into edit head down into Clorox, so it's ticker symbol CLX, and they will choose to remove this holding. Now, if you do this and you save this, we have to make this 100% in order to save it, we'll hit save. Now, here is where the process happens. This is where this individual, this investor, does not want his funds to be reinvested back into the portfolio. He wants to have that as available cash in order to invest in other holdings. So what he can do here, or what will happen if he does this right now, are you sure you want to make changes in your portfolio? Obviously, you're removing a holding and moving the percentages target for Apple to 2%. Now, any removed slices will be sold during the next trade window. These proceeds, meaning the equity that you are selling out of, of the holding that you're removing, will be reinvested back into this pie. Now, that is what you're trying to avoid. You're, you don't want that equity being automatically reinvested back into your pie. So what can you do to avoid that? Well, this is sort of a multi-step process. So again, what we want to do is we want to remove Clorox. So we want to go ahead and select Clorox perform a buy and sell. And what we want to do in here is sell. Now we have $98.06 of equity. We don't know what the market's going to be doing the next trading day. It could be up, it could be down. We just know that we want to take profit. So what you want to do is just overshoot. Overshoot by a good bit. You know, there's no way that the amount of equity within Clorox of $98 is going to move up to $150. Now we can hit continue and confirm that sell. So tomorrow morning, when M1 Finance performs their buys and sells, that whatever equity is going to be at tomorrow, it could be at 98, it could be at 100, 105, 110, up until $125 worth of value is going to be sold out of Clorox. Eventually, that position is going to be completely equitied out. You know, there's not gonna be any more equity within that holding. Once that happens, then once that has happened, you will be able to go into here, locate your Clorox, remove it, and then move other you know positions to your target of 100, save and confirm. So this is exactly like the process of you know adding a pie into your portfolio. So for example, we want to edit our portfolio. This is just an example. So you don't have to do any of this right now. This is just showing you that I am adding Microsoft into my basket. This is what it would happen. So for example, we had Microsoft in our portfolio. We'll just go ahead and show you what this process will look like. So the, say for example, Microsoft is our Clorox. We've sold out of all the equity within Microsoft. It's now valued at zero, zero, zero. So there's no more equity invested in the specific company. Now, now that it has no equity, this would be zero on the next trading day, then I could go into edit, I could locate my Microsoft holding of ticker symbol NS, uh, MSFT, select it, remove it, and then I would move my other positions here, 
as such Cisco or whatever other holdings you want to sort of move to and save this. Now, this is going to basically just kind of showcase the exact same information. Any removed slices will be sold during the next trading window, which we just removed Microsoft. That'll be traded away. And any, you know, any of those proceeds invested in Microsoft, which is zero, will be reinvested in the portfolio. We'll hit confirm. So tomorrow, Microsoft is going to be completely removed and the there's no equity there to be reinvested into the portfolio. The equity is already sitting in your cash balance. So that is essentially how to get out of a stock. It is a two-day process, obviously. It does suck to hang out, you know, kind of have to do that within the M1 Finance platform. That's just an extra step to have to go through sometimes. But uh, that is essentially what you will have to do. So that is basically it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, definitely tune in on Friday or on Saturday. I will be doing my weekly recap on Saturday, kind of going over the markets this week, kind of displaying how the markets have reacted this week, you know, what exactly has taken place in you know the world right now yeah, there's so much news going on out there so there's always some activity and information to be tracking so that is basically it if you guys did enjoy this video definitely give this video a thumbs up below subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed and of course if you have any questions you have wanted to have answered on the m1 finance platform Robinhood, weeble fidelity merrill edge i'm on all of these brokers so if you do have any specific question about the brokers the stock market any specific holding security or dividend let me know in the comment section below i do read and apply to all your comments and that is it thank you all for tuning in i will see you next time have a great day bye